Hey, what's going on guys? Breakfast is back again. Hope everybody had a great Canada Day for those Canadians out there. Maybe enjoy some fireworks, some family time. Uh, basically, I went to the States with a couple of my friends. Wasn't really expecting anything, and, but the selection in terms of shopping was pretty disappointing. But uh, here are some of my pickups. I pretty much only picked up three things on the trip. This is the Your Welcome Kobe System shirt from the Kobe 7. I thought it was a really funny commercial. That's why I picked up the shirt. It was also really cheap. It's also a dry fit. I love my dry fit. I always like wearing dry fit for basketball as well as just casual use. Very comfortable for me. Just showing you the price tag here. These are not the final prices. I believe it says $14.97. That is the clearance price. Originally it's $19.99. The last time I went and it was $32 at retail. This is a Nike Elite shirt in blue and red. Almost like a clipper colorway. It's $12.97, $19.99 at the last retail price. Here's the receipt. You, I was pretty mind blown. It was a uh, 40% off, and that first shirt there, 497. I don't even know what happened there. Maybe they did the price tag wrong. So it was basically five bucks with so 40% off, so two bucks off. Ended up to be three bucks. I've never paid three bucks for any shirt. That's just crazy. And then you got the Kobe System shirt, ended up to be nine bucks. I say it was a successful Nike trip, but. I didn't pick up any shoes. Just showing you guys the address to the Nike store I hit up. Uh, this is pretty much the most accessible and closest uh, Nike store that's closest to me. I will be showing a quick slideshow closer to the end of the video to show what they had available, so stay tuned for that. Also picked up a new uh, Rastaka bracelet. This is the Freshman, or more known as the Tiffany Blue colorway. I uh, actually didn't know what I would have to match with it when I bought it, but I just love the colorway. And I did have something. This is the Kobe 8 Easters. It's pretty darn close to the toe box. I'm gonna start showing some pictures from the Nike outlet now. If you love runners, then it's probably gonna be a good day for you. Some retro runners, you got some Air Max 90s, and like a dark teal colorway with some hints of gray. Some glad some trainers, some Air Maxes, nothing special this trip. I was really hoping for some basketball shoes. This pair looks like the Trainer Classics. Here's some Air Force 180s. I never saw this color before. It's like a teal or emerald or black. Here's some more runners, some Luna Glides. The only deal there was the $47 uh, Luna Glide 4. Here's some Air Forces with some uh, elephant print. I have no idea what they are, uh, but Air Forces at that price is usually a steal. And elephant print is usually a big deal, right? Here's some Hirachi free runs. Really like the colorway. Wish there was some purple on there as well. Just gonna highlight a couple clearance stuff that were in my size. Nothing really special in other sizes. Here's some hyper disruptors and a super bright orange colorway with some like peach bottoms. Here's another solar soft moccasin. Everything was 20% off. I didn't bother trying these on because they look kind of funny to me. I wonder if, if they released these before the Roshis, would these be hyped up? Or was there just this whole random Roshi trend? Did any of you guys try these on or even own a pair? Let me know how they are. Here's just some uh, another pictures of some trainers. Really nothing special. I don't know why they had a wall of those. Here's some uh, Air Max Navigates, I believe, 7499. Some Air Max ones. That's a pretty sweet colorway, but I can't wear Air Maxes as they're just a little narrow for me. Here's the basketball section. You got some really generic Jordans and ball shoes. They had a ton of outdoor ball shoes, so for all those outdoor fans, definitely go check it out. Here's a picture of some Elite socks. A ton of colorways, but they're all too expensive for me. This was an interesting colorway. I never saw a black and teal one before, that's why I picked it up. And on to the Adidas stuff. They had some really, really good deals there. Some Addy Rose 3.5. I expected this because the 4s are coming out soon. Here's the D Rose 3s in a Brenda colorway. I had this once upon a time, but Adidas shoes are just too narrow for me, and I wanted to be comfortable in the shoes I wear. Here's the St. Paddy's colorway. Had a ton of these on the bunk. This was a surprise at the Adidas outlet. They had the All Stars. I'm surprised they didn't sell. It was a bright colorway. Awesome. They got the Fresh Prince colorway. I was so tempted to pick these up again. They're not comfortable for me, so I decided to pass on them. The next stop I made was uh, at Walden Gallery at the House of Hoops. That's the closest one to me. And uh, 
nothing special at all other than that or overpriced. They had the Kobe 8 Blitz Blue there, so if you're still looking for these, drop by there if you're in the local area. They had the Bright Crimson slash Bolt uh, LeBron 10 Elites. These just came out last weekend, I believe. It was an interesting colorway, a very good mashup of colors. And again, they had the Bark Deposits and the Gamma Blue. And uh, they had the Foam Posits Fort Royal. Definitely go check them out if you still need these. Saw these as well. These are like the Phoenix Suns uh, 28s, I believe. Really, really want the Oak Hill uh, the limited edition one. It was uh, black and red, just like the Jordan 8s, the playoffs. Um, I really want a pair of 28, but I am not paying 250 for it. That's just overpriced. Well, this video is pretty much coming to an end. Hope you enjoyed it, and definitely subscribe and like the video. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.